Okay. Uh, this is a tad uncomfortable. Check out the spark plugs, I think so. Hi everybody, this is Carrie with Yield Critters. Welcome to Frantic Friday. And if you're new to Frantic Friday, this is where I take one part of my fifth wheel or the whole dang thing and I clean it. And now this week has not been bad. I have a few dishes to do, I have things sitting around that I have to put away, but for the most part I didn't have a lot of cleaning to do. What I have had to do in the last couple of days is I have had to make makeshift shades for my windows. Um, the sun is not blocked and I had stupid, you know, throws over the windows to block the light. I had sheets on the windows. So if you've seen any of my videos, you know what I'm talking about. I wanted to eliminate all that. My husband hated the shades that were here. He fought with them all the time. They were dirty. Um, they were just not functional anymore. And the material that my sister-in-law Phyllis gave me, thank you Phyllis, and I made little curtains. And they're really basically little shades until I can afford to get the toile that I want because this is gonna be country French. Yes, a country French fifth wheel, but I want to all. I had something specific in mind, and I want to have nice curtain rods. And I don't want to put holes, extra holes in the walls with curtain rods that I do not want. And right now, we're buying a hot water heater, a new hot water heater. Um, we're fixing the stove. We're doing some renovations that we have to do and things that we absolutely need to do. So I can't just go out and buy fabric just because I want to. And I have this. And I'm gonna use it and it's gonna come in very handy so the thing I noticed when I filmed a couple weeks ago is the ledge up on the slide out was filthy I'm not up there all the time I don't see it I'm not tall enough to see it so it's out of sight out of mind and I'm good I was I'm like viewing that footage and I'm like oh that's gross about the same way in our bedroom and so I'm cleaning those and I'm going to show you step by step how I make my shades from my windows. Okay? You ready? Let's go. No more yucking. Let's get tracking. This is really bad. Okay. Now I don't know how much of this is just weather. Oh yeah, it's dirt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm just using a spick and span on it. Usually I use white distilled vinegar and water to clean things with a little bit of Dawn de detergent, but I don't have that amount. So I'm just gonna make do. The main thing is to get it clean. Okay, let's speed things along, shall we? Two birds with one stone. Boy, this is precarious. It's a pain in the butt. Goodbye, spectres. Don't want you. Don't need you. You're not welcome. Boy, this thing is coming loose. Okay. There. I don't know if you can see up there. I can't. Oh, there we go. Yeah. That's pretty clean. Okay. I'm going to make sure everything's clean while I'm up here. I do not want to do this again for a while. Oh. I am hitting my head. Done. So I measured the windows and cut squares and now I'm just going to hem them up. It's very crude, but it's just so it doesn't fray. I'm putting some around the corner. Hey. <laughs> 
Oh, this might work. And if it does, I'll cut this part away because this is garbage. It's gone in the garbage anyway. Oh my goodness, this might just work. Woohoo! Let's put out the rest of them, shall we? All right, so I would put one to the other and peel the backing so you don't measure it wrong. And then, ugh. I'm going up a little bit higher than the bar so you don't see it. Does that make sense? I think it does. Maybe. And remember, this is going to be away so it'll hang closer to the... Oh my gosh, I like it already. I just rolled those up and stuck it up over the thing. Over the... It's not really a curtain rod, it's just the existing plastic from the shape. So all I did is take Velcro and put Velcro up here. I need to, to actually stitch it on the fabric because it's falling. But it, this, it's just simple. It's looped and Velcroed. And all I have to do is roll them up. Or roll them down if I want. I'm really excited about the built-in couch we're gonna do very shortly. We've got the wood for it. We've got everything we need for it, and except for the cushion stuff. So I'm very happy. But all I did was throw a couple of blue sheets to match the windows. I had them here already. Throw them over the, you know, grandma-looking chairs, and. If you haven't seen any of our other videos, this is what this chair looks like. But you know what? They're sheets, but they'll do. So you don't really have to have a whole lot to make something look, make something look decent. They really block out the sun too, which is wonderful because we get a lot of sun on this side of the trailer. You see? That really blocks the light very, very well. Okay, you guys, thanks for coming with me today. I appreciate you. Patrick appreciates you. And we don't take it for granted that you've got other things to watch and you choose to watch us. And we appreciate that very, very much. And um, if you're anything like me, you're kind of backward and you don't like to leave comments or you just don't like to leave comments, give me a thumbs up. That lets me know personally that you like Frantic Friday and you want me to continue making them. Thanks, you guys. Subscribe if you have not. And we will see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thanks, Deb, for this gorgeous picture. My friend Debbie, my best friend of 35 years, painted this for us, and we love it. We cannot wait to hang it. And if you like this painting, she has many, many more. She did this especially for us. And her link will be down in the description below. Thanks, Deb. Appreciate it. So cute.